long feet. I hope you can hear me. It's pretty windy. Uh, good pat. We just repelled. Uh, it's been extremely windy and the conditions have been getting uh, worse by by the hour. It um, On the way up, there were just gusts, occasional gusts, and uh, on the way down, it was like, yeah, it was it was full on Iger training, like without a doubt. Um, but we we made the summit. Uh, that was <coughs> probably the uh, the low point. Yeah, that was the summit was definitely the low point of the uh, project of the expedition. Um, we're headed down. We are almost to safety if we can get down this safely. Um, we'll just have to keep warm and not sprain an ankle or break a leg. Um, exactly. And we're going to head to Ed's. We're excited, feeling good now. I'm sure we're going to be wiped by the time we get to the car. One of everything, you heard of. Here's the table for you. You can see the first bolt right there. It's actually not that long. We, uh, in fact, actually, it was uh, exactly 35 meters from where we're standing to the anchor where we soloed thereafter. Uh, because we wrapped with a 70 meter rope and it just exactly made it to here. Um, so that was nice not to have to do multiple repels, but um, I'm pretty sure you could totally do it with like a 50 or a 60 meter rope. Like, without a doubt. You just have to do two repels or more. Yeah, I uh, I actually considered I actually considered doing a second repel, but uh, honestly, fuck it. Like it, that would slow us down. It would get us further down, but we'll just slide or, or down faster. Any uh, any other comments on that? <laughs> views. Uh, unfortunately, most of the time we've been staring at the ground at our ice axes and ice tools, uh, just trying to make it up this mountain. But this is absolutely gorgeous. This is what we live for right here. All right, Pat and Alcorn out.